Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT car parking system along with automatic uh, building by using RFID reader. So here IoT car parking will be uh, done with the help of three IR sensors and uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and automatic building will be done with the help of this RFID reader. So we are going to monitor the uh, slot availability from IoT app, there is a Blink application. So this application can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So this slot 1 and slot 2, slot 3 will show the status of whether the slot is available or not. So if it is filled then there will be a red icon will be over there and if it is not filled like this empty will be shown. So we have interfaced these 3 IR sensors to the microcontroller and uh, these are 3 are the inputs along with RFID reader. And the next based on this uh, slot availability the status will be shown on this 16 by 2 LCD screen as a visual indication and also we are going to upload the same data to the Blink application by using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module this is which is the main IoT device and we are providing 5 volts power supply from this adapter so to this breadboard so from this breadboard we are distributing that throughout this breadboard and from there too we are providing the power supply to the sensors LCD display and RFID reader module and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and our microcontroller so here coming to the IR sensor principle there we can see the two LEDs this transparent LED the white color LED is the transmitter which will transmit the IR rays so if is any obstacle is present in front of that the surface of the obstacle will reflect the those transmitter rays and that will be received by this receiver module so based on the receiving the receiver will trigger the pulse to our microcontroller so whenever the trigger pulse uh, received from this receiver module as indication of there is obstacle is there in front of that means the slot was filled already so in that manner we are going to identify the slot availability and the same data is to the blink application so before on the kit the very first thing is we need to blink, uh, install the blink iot application directly from the play store after installing that log into the blink application from the given credentials so login id and password so after that the next step is first step is install the application log into that and the next step is change the hotspot settings of your phone that is to project 5404 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345689 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after that enable the hotspots and data right so after uh, enabling the hotspot and data uh, now the blink application it will come like this initially when you log into that it will show you in this the uh, this is the page and there you can see the offline means the device is offline now so on the power supply to that after these settings so the next is when you switch on this kit then there you can see the light should be on only one LED so if any obstacle is there in front of that the another LED should on otherwise if it is continuously on check the LEDs first of all whether it is uh, they are looking in straight or not and check the external sunlight the external sunlight should not fall on this IR sensors because the sunlight consists of IR rays so they may provide the malfunctioning to the sensors so that they will keep on showing the obstacle is detected right so we can see that now there is no offline over here right so now now let us see the demonstration directly right so whenever the vehicle comes then uh, it will show the RFID tag so these are the RFID tags we are going to use here for 1, 2 and 3 RFID tags so right so vehicle 1 is coming now RFA tag shown and the time was captured you can see that slot 3 was filled so this is slot 3 and next third third vehicle is coming so when you show the tag you can see that the LED will blinks right so the third tag is placed at the second slot so the second slot got filled so you can see now the second tag right the LED should blink okay so now it is captured and now it is parked at the slot number one right 
okay so if this particular vehicle is coming out means the second vehicle is want to coming out now now it is leaving right then the person has to show the tag over here and now thank you so the second slot is empty bill is calculating 30 rupees and every tag comes with a thousand rupees so now the money was deducted and again same for tag one and show the tag so when you show the tag you should take care of the LED should blinks means indication of the tag was read successfully now it is for 50 rupees and coming to the next right so now total remaining three slots are empty so if only one slot is filled then actually we need to show the tag before entering the vehicle to that so it will capture the time I can start timing the counting If you show the tag second time directly it will reduce the uh, subtract the time and it will show you the okay how much of seconds was it was uh, parked and the so-called money will be reduced and show the remaining balance right like this we are going to get this availability of parking slots from anywhere in the world using blink application and also automatic billing will be done with the help of this RFID reader